Hello and welcome to our new workshop on installing Paper Office and using it on a terminal server. First, connect to your terminal server as an administrator via remote desktop. In the next step, if necessary, enter the password and confirm your entry with OK. As you can see in the video, we have pre-installed the MariaDB server locally for demonstration purposes. You can of course use any external database as long as it is supported. Open your browser, go to the PaperOffice website, and download the very latest PaperOffice release. After the download is complete, open the folder and double left click on the installer to begin the installation. Install the program by following the installation instructions. In between, confirm the warning window with Install to be able to install Office add-ins and click on OK in the next step. As soon as the installation is complete, the green button labeled Complete lights up. Click on the button. The warning signals that the installation has been completed and that you can start Paper Office via the desktop shortcut. Confirm this message with OK and in the next step start Paper Office via the desktop shortcut. As the first step after installation, a Paper Office user account must be created or an existing one must be entered in the input fields. In our workshop example, we create a new user account and click on Create a new Paper Office user account. Enter the necessary data and click on Create and Continue. Be sure to make a note of your user data, as this cannot be restored for security reasons. Confirm the notification with OK. You will be redirected to the login window with the user data you just created. Now click on Continue. Now assign any device name and symbol or leave the input field and the symbol unchanged and click on Continue to go to the Database Manager. Click here on Start Database Manager and in the next step select the MariaDB server under Other Database Server. Then click on Create New Paper Office Database to create a new one. In the next area, select On My Own MySQL or MariaDB Server. Now enter either the server IP address, or in this case localhost, because the database server is running on the same machine. Enter the port, database username, and database password from your own database server. Then click on Check Information, Save and Continue. The database is now created and a unique master key is generated. What the master key means and why it is particularly important is explained in detail in our help desk entries. Save both the first and the second part of the master key in any folder. Please note that access to this folder by different users who will also use the database should be possible without restrictions. After the database connection has been established, log into it. Paper Office is started, the database connection is established, and the Paper Office interface is displayed. This intermediate step finishes the installation of Paper Office directly on the terminal server. After the initial database connection and installation on your terminal server has been guaranteed, individual users can access it via RDP, Remote Desktop Connection. We will now establish a new connection from another user via RDP by leaving the IP address of the remote computer the same and entering a different username and password. After the user has been logged in, Go to the Paper Office installation folder and create a desktop shortcut for this user if this was not created automatically. Double click the shortcut with the left mouse button. In the login area, you can see that terminal server mode has already been activated. As in the previous step, Enter your existing user data or create a new user account by clicking on Create a new user account. This step will now be skipped in the current workshop. You will be forwarded directly to the login window after a user account has been created. Here, too, click on Continue and confirm the entry with Continue in the next step. Start the database manager with the new user and select the MariaDB server as described in the Other Database Server step above. In the next step, do not select Create New Paper Office Database, but rather use Existing Database, as the Paper Office Database was created in the previous step of the initial installation. Enter Localhost in the area on the right and then click on Check Information, Save and Continue. 
Now comes the intermediate step in which you have to enter the master key for the paper office database connection. Left click in the first field and select the path under which you have saved the first part of the master key. Do the same with the location of the second part of the master key. Then click on check and continue. If you have entered correct database information, the connection to the database will be established and you can log in with the user as normal. The paper office interface will be loaded. The same procedure as the one just described can easily be carried out with every necessary user. Paper office installation, user connection, and use on a terminal server is that easy. This completes the installation and setup of paper office under terminal server. Goodbye Paper Chaos, welcome Digital Office. To find out what additional features Paper Office has, check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel.